I'm live, man. Oh. Time to watch some videos. Shush, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Here we go. Oh, wobble it. Sit down. Hold on. Get ready for this one. Oh, oh that's going to hurt. All teams enter the Red Bull Soapbox race with a dream. A dream of launching powerfully from the dream start. Cheated. That is mighty impressive. Speeding effortlessly to the checkered flag. This is going to be a good time. And proudly collecting the winner's trophy to the adulation of a huge crowd. But for some, actually quite a few, that dream comes to an abrupt and sometimes spectacular end. Oh, he's gone! As a tribute to those brave teams whose obstacle avoidance was obviously disengaged, this is the greatest Red Bull soapbox race crashes. Nice. We still Wait, Nintendo conference? Oh, yeah. Bulbs told me about that. Or I think it was Pluto, actually. Someone told me about it. Uh, when is the Nintendo conference? That's in 30 minutes? Okay, well, I'll watch that in 30 The countdown minutes. in Elysian Park, downtown Los Angeles, with a team built for speed. Fast food, low friction from Long Beach. Aaron, the driver, Sean is riding on the back. They are intending to go very quick. Are they getting the raided on their outfits? 28. Now, they've got lots of protection on there as well, haven't they? Look at those helmets. So one wheel at the front, two at the back, the tricycle. And uh, Sean hanging on at the back and trying to get his weight Yo, they're into going the corners fast. to help the soapbox get around them. Straight on through the chicane. There's the onboard shot. There's the, uh, the condiments if you need them. Dang! Oh, oh! He's lost in there! Wow, look at that! There was no way they could save that. Watch this around here. He's going so fast, and then the back end skids out. Oh! I think that left wheel oh. might well have been coming off. They died. It did in the end anyway. And there was no <laughs> way the two guys could stay on there. Aaron and Sean, here's the onboard shot. Oh, look at that. God damn. After that uh, blistering start, we head from the glamour of LA to the world's largest metropolis for number six in our countdown. Yomiuri Land Amusement Park in Tokyo, the iconic location of this crowd favorite from 2019. Dog trackers. I ever tell you guys about the, uh, the Asian lady that handed me her baby and wanted me to take a picture of her child or like a picture with her baby? I ever tell you all about that? Yeah, that shit was weird. It was on stream too. We literally saw it. Okay, why, why do you... Okay, you watch my stream too much. That's the problem with you. Some random Asian lady handed me her baby and then just took a picture of me holding it. I had no idea who this lady was and she had no idea who I was. She just knew that I was famous. Like that's how she's like, oh, famous person, take my baby. But you asked us, yeah, but I don't actually care about like you guys individually, right? All right, moving on. Toshiro and Pashiro Kai. Creativity score of 36, father and son team. The soapbox theme is after dogs and dog catchers because dogs never give up and neither will the team. And 39 for the performance. The son's doing the steering and dad's controlling the brakes. How you know when to do which, I don't know. Off we go. Uh -oh. Looks sturdy enough, looks well designed, apart from the fact that two people have got to do different things. And it's shaking at the moment. Look at the wobble. Look at the wobble. Surely Yikes. they can't get this to the bottom. It's wobbling all over the place. Samurai game. Seesaw coming up. Here's the seesaw. Up and down. No problem. Nice. They're all right. Pick a kicker. Pick the second kicker through the leaves. Here's hey, the Sobe. berm. Have a they wonderful the stream no, today. Let's oh, attempt to get at least 100 new followers the today. The back hit the sun and got onto the deck. Wow. Into the tires. Oh, they can laugh. It's all right laughing up there. Oh, look at that. Wait, they're going to finish it. No messing about. Let's get to this finish line, they're saying. Well, they say dogs never give up. Dogs can't take berms very well either. So what are the requirements? Ooh, like 102.23. That really doesn't matter. 
I don't know what the requirements are when it comes to building this stuff. You can't go straight on over the berm. Look at that. Watch that. Watch that. Here he comes. He's hanging on. Oh, there we go. Oh, my word. It has to be below a weight level. Okay, so below a weight level. Next up, but like, at number five I feel like they're going for a funny look this mayhem, this more than like smart engineering. In so let's see whether the uh, the next soapbox crew the can keep their right? heads or keep their head or whichever you're looking at. This one no is one cares if he actually try. That's called the Pope Mobile, this one. And basically we have two Popes, a Bishop and a Swiss Guard. It sounds like a cheesy gag, doesn't it, from the 70s, but it's not. It's the soapbox that we have before us and we have Pope Francis and Pope Benedict. An Argentinian Pope and a German Pope, which was, of course, the World Cup final in the summer. Oh my God! As well. <laughs> That's the not the best push up, is it? Don't lose your feet at that point. Mm. Down goes the Pope Mobile, which looks a cross between a milk oh, no. and a golf cart and a pizza delivery wagon. But around the berm they go, <gasps> and he's still waving away at the back. I'm not too sure many popes have travelled down oh, in this kind God. of style or at this kind of speed. Through the chicane, no problem there. The 250 meter mark, it's so far so good for the Pope Mobile. Through the last chicane, over the ramp. There we go. The Popes have nosedived over the ramp. They did the kick and they couldn't do the ramp. Look at this. Boom. Oh, that's got to hurt. On board, you can oh see the God. carnage it caused. Well, divine intervention means they will make it down. Moving to Bro. South America for number four in the countdown and the spectacular Cerro San Cristobal Hill overlooking the Chilean capital, Santiago. So firefighting racing come next. If you like your dad dancing, this might be the team for you. 45 out of 50 for creativity. A lot of thoughts got into it. All firefighters. And the performance hey. has gone down a storm. 50 out of 50. I'm a little bit surprised they, they got that. I can dance like that too, but I don't think I'd get 50 out of 50. But there we go. And I presume yeah, that's, the that wasn't that cool. pushed would be classed as the fire starter, but more on that. If, off they go anyway. Wide wheels at the front, narrow at the back, small wheels around the bar. Oh, they're getting oh. over the top. Oh, look at that. He's got a soapbox on him. Well, they nearly went completely out of the berm. They forgot the really vital ingredient. You've got to turn right. He's just gone up and up and up, and he nearly went over. Look at that. It was only one wheel left on the berm. So what do they do now? At least they got a 50 on their dance. Look at that. Oh, oh they're dead. So they died. They died. They died. Oh, glad to say that neither Christopher nor Miguel were injured there. We enter the top three Red Bull soapbox race crashes on a wet day on Mount Adams in Cincinnati. And a fearless team hanging it all out there. Wait, someone sent me this. Hold on, hold on. So, uh, Volp sent me this. Look at this. It was such a cool experience. We're so lucky to get Yeah, that was awesome. We got the special treatment. We got to cut the line. Hold on, hold on. Look at this. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Everybody's fine, Jim. <laughs> Ah, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> I am so confused. I don't know. <laughs> I told you. So let's have a look at Anchorman. I don't know. Uh, these are a team that did race in the Red Bull Soapbox race event in Atlanta, and they came third that day as the Ninja Turtle team. They are the Anchorman team today, and that's 35 there for the performance at the top it's got those small wheels a low center of gravity i'm still and waiting for your plushie to be a the wheel the satellite off they go and they've lost the piece already but they're really quick at the top oh my god they're so they're dead look here the they're dead here they don't make that turn oh my god twisty turn look at the skin at the back oh they're absolutely flying flying down the course here in cincinnati anchorman looking to make the mark looking to set the time skidding through on those Small, thin wheels down the course. Look at the concentration on the face of the pilot. Aaron's the driver. Here we go over the steps. They got to get their news. The course towards the kicker. They're going to take so much speed into the kicker. Yeah. Sit down. Hold on. Get ready for this one. Here it comes down towards the kicker with all the speed. About to hit it. Here we go. You can see it. Here comes the anchorman. Oh! 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 Look at that. Had disaster written all over it, and that's exactly what we got. Look at the onboard. Here we go. Oh, you oh. can't hold it there. That is spectacular. 
Everybody's okay. Yeah, which I'm is thinking the about this, this hand. You. Wear gloves, bro. Wear gloves. Look at ah. his face. He's got no oh, his idea. Hand. His hand. Knows. Oh, you can't stop ah. that. You can't stop that. Wow. What a crash. For number two in the countdown, we swap the rain-drenched course of Ohio. For so the is it the camera? Hold on, hold on. We'll see the, what happened to the camera. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Thing to tell you. Okay, look, watch his camera. Watch his camera. Look at his face. He's got no <laughs> idea. Now he knows. Oh, you can't. <laughs> the footage. <laughs> For number two in the countdown, we swap the rain-drenched course of Ohio for the 100-degree heat of Dallas, Texas, and a team desperately trying to keep their cool. Dallas, Texas, fantastic. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. The three volleyball-playing, kid-having couples, 43 for the performance. That's out of 60, and off we go. It's bright, it's pink, it's Barbie, and we're off. There's the first kicker. It's a little bit wobbly, this one, at the top. It does tend to lean, look from oh, side this... to side. You don't want to go too far, otherwise you Bro, might be off. Bro, this vehicle sucks. There's the dry car wash. They're dead. Here's They're dead. the big kicker. Hurtling towards it. Over we go. No, oh, wobbling. It's going. It's going. Oh, my God. It's, it's going. It's gone. Oh! Oh! Oh, my word. So spectacular! <laughs> Wrestling uh -huh. with it, trying to lean, trying to get it back, and then bang! Look at that! Holy fuck, man! For the number one greatest Red Bull soapbox race crash, we cross continents from North America to Europe and the unforgiving course at Alexandra Palace overlooking London. We've got the... Uh, the hippie split camper van, which is basically a scale model of a VW camper van. I'm not sure about the P side, it might have to be fingers crossed as far as hippie split camper van are concerned. But off they go. It's quite small, it's quite compact, and you wonder whether the steering will be easy or not. Oh, let's go, old guy, don't die, please. The successfully, and there's quite a head of steam being built up oh, already no. by the camper van. Over the wedge, lands heavily, bit of a wobble. This is something I see my dad do. Still looking quick though, but it seems to be difficult to hold, doesn't it? In line. Next up, Slow down, Gramps! And bears, and it's side to side through there. Over the apples and pears. Bounce, bounce, bounce. The wheels. The wheel! Off, the wheel! down the track. No! To get through the chicane. No! He's actually got to reach the chicane. <laughs> so through the chicane we go. Fantastic driving here to actually keep it upright. Down we go towards the kicker. Over the kicker. Oh, he's flipped it over the kicker. <laughs> Got so far down with just three wheels and then lands on the roof at the of the side, and he's in one piece. And maybe the peace side was exactly what was needed because fingers crossed or not, the hippie split camper van just didn't quite make it down to the bottom. And this is where it all started though. The bouncing and then the landing on that front right wheel as you look, which ripped it from its axle <laughs> and then it was all over really at this stage you wonder whether they'd actually get down to the kicker and then over the kicker lands on the side and rolls over and that was the end of hippie split camper van i'm afraid with that Bro. rock star moment we that was sick there's more apparently this is crackers chicane oh he's managed to get it round look at this who looks a right cheeky so and so round the berm only just made it here he comes in oh bro <laughs> these events are great showmanship and a big old slice of silliness three very good reasons why time and time again spectators from across the globe flock to the red bull soapbox race in their thousands but what does it take to win the hearts of the crowd? I'm sorry, do I have? Uh, I might not be able to watch this. Yeah, I can. I can watch this, and then I gotta watch Nintendo. These are our top six soapboxes that got the fans whipped into a frenzy of delight.
So, let's get the countdown started in one of South America's most vibrant cities, Santiago, Chile, as a bunch of accident-prone Adonises overcome disaster and completely woo the crowd. Well, here's the performance for El Muay. Never wow. before have we seen a soapbox as a statue from Easter Island. You feel like you don't want to interrupt. What, what are these fucking subtitles? Hello? 50 out of 50. That's why you don't interrupt a performance like that. Dang. A perfect score at the top. Now let's see what happens. Those White tires are those those tires aren't going to last. A recipe for, for wheels. Let's see. There's no way, Off right? Nice and quick at the top of the circuit. It's also a handlebar Those steering poor fucking system, wheels. So everything factors against this team, despite the performance at the top. Uh, the design is pretty much everything you wouldn't do for a soapbox, and they can't get through there. It's too wide, I think. Straight into carpool, and they beached it. Now they can't get it out of the hay bales. And can't you work in the chimney? <laughs> 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 Who moved that? He Everyone here is drunk, right? right? No one right, here is sober. Again, I refuse to believe it. Okay. <laughs> right, on we go then. So they now know it's essentially too wide for the course. So let's see what happens now. They're still chasing down the two lads at the back because they know there might be problems ahead. Here's the bone shaker. I feel Can like... they get through the bone shaker? No! <laughs> <laughs> they can't get over the steps. The axle's too wide. Can't drag it down, fellas. Here we go. They're trying to get in this time. Oh dear. It's just too wide for the circuit. The cars have read the rules and regulations when they built it. Right, here we go. Here we go again, look. Down towards the finish. I've never seen anything like this. Here we go. Can they get round there? Ooh, just about, yeah. Look at the state of it now. It's literally sliding down over the finish line. 141.61. One of the most bizarre runs I think I can remember. Look at this. He misses it, look there. <laughs> You're supposed to jump in. Oh, dear me. No, oh, so my God. Yet so clumsy. <laughs> At five, the Italians prove they really are a nation of food lovers as a team in Turin leave the spectators in a state of total ecstasy. That's my last egg joke, promise. Good one. So next we've got uh, La Padella, which is the frying pan. And you can see the two eggs trying to run away from the two chefs, which is all about the performance before they get into the soapbox. Looks like a gigantic wok. 32 out of 50 for the performance. These judges are so okay as well, doesn't it? So the judges might different. think that it's pretty good on the eye and they might score it well. Uh, smoke seems to be oh a my God. thing here in Turin, doesn't it? Uh, those eggs will be fried by the time they get to the bottom. If they get to the <laughs> bottom. Look at the look on those two's faces, especially the driver, who looks a right cheeky so-and-so. Round the bird, they just made it, didn't they? Crank it, nearly two cracked eggs on the way round there. Uh, you can see how it's wobbling around all over the place. It's not the easiest to control. The fucking the smirking the egg. Uh, that grin is getting more manic the further down they go. Here's the kicker. Still okay. Not quite sure what the driver's looking at, but let's not worry about that too much. Plenty of speed over the ramp. Still they go down. This is a decent run over the finish line. Good run by Lapadella. Oh. <laughs> Cracking stuff, lads. Number four takes us across the Alps as the crowds in Lausanne, Switzerland, go wild for a fearless skier who just won't quit. So Team White Bull come next. Uh, Robin Pellet is the pilot. He says he's the brains of the operation. And his sister, Mylise, is apparently the sister of the brains of the operation. Uh, they're students from Lausanne. They're studying sport. They love skiing. They love that kind of thing. Those adrenaline sports, so they should be perfectly suited here today. There's the onboard shot from inside the soapbox. It's nice and bright, this one, and it's picking up a fair deal of speed. Almost oh. managed to clear that middle section. Here we go through the chicane. Oh, oh. Not oh. The chicane. Halfway Dead. through the chicane. I think that was a case of a pilot getting too excited by the speed. <laughs> there are certain parts of the circuit where you have to apply the brakes. The chicane, everybody, is one of them. 
Now they're going to try and push their way down to the finish. And there's still a fair way to go. <laughs> oh, barely lost it. Over the bone rattler. They can see the funny side. There's the finish. Oh, he's dead here. And over the wedge. <laughs> and a little clip in the air as well. 151.22. It started off with so much promise. <laughs> Dang. At three, we're heading to Johannesburg, where a huge South African crowd reveled in an afternoon of good, clean fun. And in this case, we mean that quite literally. Oh, God. Well, it's bath time. Uh, they're friends from an engineering firm, and the team basically is inspired directly from the soapbox race advertising, which has a man in a bath. So, bath time. Uh, Johan and Alex will be the pilots. Give them tens, SEM, bro. What the fuck? The other members of the team. Handlebars oh at the front. A bath with handlebars and small wheels. And a berm on the horizon straight away. <laughs> and he's getting covered Wait. at the back. He's taking a bath. <laughs> Let's have a look through the berm then. Really fast into that. Really fast into that. A really good. Oh, he's just kept a hold of it. No idea how he got through there. He's got no idea. I, I, I don't want them to he crash because I'm worried about the skin. Their skin, sports. if they crash on the pavement, they're dead. Right. Oh, my God. It's going to hurt. Oh, don't crash. Please don't crash. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Please. Absolutely flying through there. The potholes are next. And then we've got the kicker. This is shaping up to be really impressive. Bath time making a mark here. 33. We've seen faster through there. Here's the kick. Oh, he just stayed in the bath at the back. He nearly tips him out. Oh, uh, oh okay. Wow, what a run. Bath time has the crowd on his feet here in Santon today. <laughs> very, very spectacular. Nice and fast. Everything worked. That was brilliant. Oh God! <laughs> Is that blood on that guy's like face? Is he Second bleeding? Place goes to a team from Helsinki, Finland, whose backwards approach left onlookers with their jaws on the floor. So now we have uh, solid for boys. See what I'm saying? Like the numbers are just so, so we've like. Got the caravan. I can't. These judges are pissing me off, man. To the car. Which seems to be going in reverse for some bizarre reason. <laughs> the camera then. <laughs> oh my god! Well, they've got no chance here, surely. Around the berm, around the berm, around the. Oh, they're all right so far. Oh my god! Eyes in the back of his head. Now we've got the kicker, the first reverse soapbox that we've ever had here. This is crackers. Chicane. Oh, he's managed to get it round. Look at this. Now they've got the car wash. This is really narrow. He's straight through. Look at this for a run. What about the time? He's gone backwards all the way. That's astonishing. 34.64 in reverse from top to bottom. Oh, he's in there, look. Okay. I thought that was the fella going backwards all the way. Mm. Now oh, there was a guy it. in the caravan. That was Bro. brilliant. Good run. And here it is, our number one fan favorite. Proving I was blown really away does matter. at one first. Dutch like, bro, Daredevil this guy's insane. Show with a finish that sent the crowd into raptures. So the next one here is Red Bull Alert. And all of this team are inhabitants of Valkenburg, where we are today. The judges certainly like them for the performance. Will that make it all the way down to the bottom up there? What do Great you gag, think? either way. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, off we go. Oh, they're dead. Still He's dead. The moment. You know what? Is there okay. someone in that balloon? <laughs> this point, this I don't know. Soapbox might be his biggest challenge because that weight on the top is going to make it very awkward. He's okay up to now. Red Bull alert, still going strong. Landed on the back. This motherfucker's going to fly. A cropper there, but he's managed to keep it going. And he's pointing to the crowd. Here he comes. Then can he go? Oh, oh he's not in the finish line. <laughs> They can't believe what they've seen. Look at this <laughs> over the finish line and the Sharks teeth straight through the Red Bull side. <laughs> there we go. What a finish.
Those were our top six crowd favorites at the Red Bull Soapbox race. And quite frankly, it's not hard to see why. Thanks for watching. That caravan was awesome. All right. It's a uh, Nintendo Direct. Apparently they're doing some sort of shit going on.